Now, I'm not going to have a camera for this video, but I am going to keep it entertaining for you guys. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video yet, but don't worry, I don't meet LeBron or anything like that. Oh! But if the title is clickbait, then that's because I think that this situation is kind of important and I want a lot of you guys to see this. Now, I've done a few videos like this before and some of you guys may have seen it. If not, you guys can look at those later. But this one is a little bit more in depth and a little bit more serious because I think we've gotten to the point where there pretty much is no coming back. John in Tennessee, go ahead. What you want to say? <laughs> that shit is fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck off the airwaves. Oh, come uh. on, man. Now, once again, I apologize for not having a camera, but it is because I'm sick. I'm sure you guys could probably hear it in my voice. But anyways, I have a question for all of you guys. Now, how long have you guys been playing 2K? I need you guys to go ahead and put that in the comment section. Now, when I say 2K, I I'm sorry, but I, I don't just mean 2K. Uh, you can play live too. How long have you guys been playing 2K or live? Now, I asked that question for a number of reasons because if you guys haven't been playing for that long, then you don't know how much 2K has changed and live. But um, we're going to stay on to on topic of 2K for now. I do have a lot to say about live, but for now, we're going to start off with 2K. Now, for those of you guys who are new, you, you wouldn't know this, but for those of you guys who have been watching for a while, you guys know that I'm 20 years old. So I have been on this earth for not crazy amount of time but I'm, I'm not a baby either so i mean i've been playing live since live 06 that was when d-way was on the cover so you know as a kid i knew about basketball but i pretty much only picked up the game because d-way was on the cover yeah i was that type of kid now when i got nba live 06 nba live 08 was already out but that's that's besides the point that was my first nba game now the differences in those games were one Obviously, I had it on GameCube, so it, it wasn't online, so there was no online modes. Yeah. Now, if we play one of those games now, it wouldn't nearly be as fun because obviously you can't play with your friends. But I think it's important to say that those games had to be good because there was no other way for them to get paid. Let me explain what I mean by that. Now, in Florida, there is a place called Publix. If you guys have not been there before, it's basically just a regular supermarket but in Publix they serve subs now they make the subs in front of your face just like pretty much any other sub place now if you ask for a chicken tender sub and they made a ham and cheese sub I don't think you guys would pay for the sub so they pretty much have to do it exactly the way you want it or they're not going to get paid I say all that to say if you bought the game and it wasn't good there's nothing else keeping you online so you just return the game and they would lose their money. In no way am I saying that NBA Live 06 is better than NBA 2K18. All I'm saying is that I had more reasons to stay on that game than I do to stay on NBA 2K18 now. If you guys are as old as me and did indeed play those games, then you guys know that my career was a lot different in those years. Now basically, my career felt a lot more rewarding because you couldn't just buy your way to an 85 overall one and two we were playing actual basketball now I, I, that's that's gonna start a lot of controversy by me saying that but in these years 2k's like we're, we're really not playing basketball i, I the, the gameplay is I, I don't i don't know what it is i'm gonna be honest but we've definitely gone far from being a basketball game now, before I get into that sensitive topic that some of you guys will agree with me on and some of you guys probably really won't, let me just talk about first, the incentive to play on 2K. We really don't have one. Like, ever since the game came out, what was the reasoning that somebody would want to be a 99 overall? It's always been the same thing for the past couple years, and that's to be the first 99 overall. And after one person does it, there's no more incentive to play. I'm not sure if you guys realize, but that's kind of a really important thing that you need in a video game for people to keep playing it throughout a whole entire year. I'm going to go off topic a little bit and go into Fortnite because I feel as if the marketing approach Fortnite took was pretty smart. Now, for those of you guys who don't know about it, I, if you don't know about it, then I, you're not even trying. You're probably not even on YouTube, so I don't even know why I'm referring to you guys. But pretty much what they did was they released the game for free. Now, they, obviously, they did have competitors, but the competitors were either at $60 or $30. So at the game being free, I mean, people are going to download it just because why not? You're not losing anything in the first place. That's one. 
and two they pretty much just let people play for free and and just heard criticism and different ways to improve the game and get this they actually did it now that's you know it's it's one thing for you to let people play the game and get criticism from them but then you actually have to take the criticism and actually use it if you don't do that then you kind of did all that first stuff for no reason then after they did all that and people were actually happy with the game and having a lot of fun then they added incentives to play the game but they monetized it so they used them in microtransactions to get skins or whatever pretty much they gave you a reason to play the game they have skins that you can only get for a limited time and after that they're gone but they monetized it by making it so you had to pay to be able to unlock the ability to get those skins now if that is not perfect marketing i don't know what is now i know a lot of people you know whenever i mention uh dlcs and 2k together they all get mad because they don't want to spend any more money but i'm gonna be honest with you i'd rather spend money to have a good game year round than spend 120 dollars day one for you know uh just uh, the, the game and then spend 60 more on on vc and then all of a sudden the game is just gone like i would rather spend ten dollars every month and get new things from 2k than not spend anything in the game It'd be absolutely horrible and another thing that is very very important that i think that people kind of overlook is the fact that for for a fact the people at fortnite right now are not there, it's not in their main interest to make a Fortnite 2. Like, they're focused on Fortnite, and that's it. So pretty much every new idea that they come out with, they're going to just put it out on this game. They're not going to save anything. They're not going to not update the game and, you know, just strictly work on Fortnite 2 and put that one out for $60 or 120 for the limited edition Fortnite. They're not going to do that. Therefore, that is very, very important. Now, obviously, you know, 2K is not going to stop making, you know, 2Ks by the year. But at the same time, you can make it not so apparent that you're dropping 18 and then instantly focused on 19. To be honest with you, with 18, I feel like they were working on 19 before 18 even dropped. That's how bad I feel like they are running it up. Now, obviously, when releasing a game every year, you need to get as much time to make the new game as possible. But let's keep it true with, 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 with you guys here, man. Does 2K really need a year just to update the rosters? Yeah, I went there. Yeah, you're not changing anything. Sorry. You're not doing anything. You're just changing the rosters, and you're taking a whole entire year to do that. Sorry. I, I, I didn't know it took a whole entire year for you to take Kyrie off the Celtics. And or take them off the Cavs and put them on the Celtics. Sorry, didn't know it took that long. I, I do that on my gym all the time, so I don't know what you guys are doing, but eat or you're just taking a vacation. Uh, simple, I, I don't know what you guys are doing, but you guys are not working on the game. That's that's one thing you're not doing. If if you guys want to work on the next game, I, I mean, I don't see why you guys wouldn't just you know have one team dedicated to the current game, actually, really dedicated to the current game. And then another team working on the next one. I'm sure you have enough money to do that. You guys literally, you know, the only thing that I see you guys put sales on is like Gatorade, 25% off the Gatorade packs. And, you know, and, and then and you still have 2K plastered all over cereal boxes and Gatorade in real life. So you guys monetize the game enough for you to have uh, literally a team for the, for the next 25 2Ks. So I, I don't see why... You have to just go from one 2K to the next just for you to update the rosters. I'm going there. Sorry. Yeah, I had to be that guy for a little bit. But anyways, let's get back into trying to make this a productive video again. Now, I do these videos all the time. And uh, whether, you know, somebody from 2K actually sees them or not, I, I, I don't know. But anyways, um, I feel like it's pretty easy for you guys to add incentives for us to play for the whole entire year. You, you just don't want to do it. But anyways... I'll give you guys an example of some incentives that they can do to make the game fun all year round. Okay, so here's one example that they already had in the game. Double XP weekends. Now, I know for a fact my mod player is only 92 overall. If you guys had double XP weekends, I'd be playing Pro-Am all weekend. 
I play Pro Am anyways, but that would give me more of an incentive to play. And I know that there would be a lot of other people playing now. I know you guys would be cheesing me. I'll get to that, you know, later on. I really, I really want to talk about gameplay, but I, I'm, I'm not trying to skip over, you know, the stuff that I'm talking about right now. That's one. Double XP weekends. Number two, park tournaments, because obviously, you know, park is a pretty big focal point of 2K. Now, park is garbage. I'm gonna be honest with you. Park has no competition whatsoever, and I hate the games being like the games not being competitive. I also hate feeling like you know every single team is just a copy and paste of each other. But once again, I, I'm gonna wait to get into that one. Park tournaments. Let me explain a little bit more on that. Now, let's say I have my three players I want to play with. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm gonna shout you guys out. I got uh, T Clip. I got uh, James, Nick, and Akeem. Y'all are horrible. Sorry, I had to put you on blast like that. If you guys are watching, man, I wouldn't pick you guys. But anyways, I got James and T-Clip. And, um, oh, yeah, and uh, Teddy, what's going on, man? You dropped me off. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, uh, I got on topic for a second. Anyways, I got my three, and we're trying to play in um, a tournament. So pretty much what we would do is, let's say we put in 1K VC each. And we play a tournament with, I don't know, 30 different Pro-Am teams. And we end up beating all 30 of those teams. So we pretty much get, uh, what would that be, 90K VC for, you know, all three people putting in 1K each. I, I don't know. You guys know the match. The, the math. Uh, sorry. But anyways, so we all split that 90K VC. That would be one fun thing to add as an incentive to play the game. Um, also, you can add park clans, and pretty much the clan that wins the most games for that day can have a bonus to their player, VC, whatever you guys want to do. Literally, just give us a reason to play the game. Just You guys can add that. Uh, Pro-Am tournaments, same, uh, pretty much the same process of the park tournaments, but just Pro-Am form. And you can also do uh, attribute upgrades for people who get 150 wins on a certain weekend of park let me give you guys an example of what i mean by that because yeah that sounded a little crazy i have a sharp shooting shot creator right and let's say you know what man i really want this guy to be able to dunk on people but my dunk max is out at 50 oh shoot kevin durant can't dunk oh that's crazy now let's just say that for this weekend 2k says you can add plus 10 to to your dunk if you get 150 park wins in these two days. Now, I would be sitting there trying to get 150 park wins in order for me to add 10 to my dunk. Why would I do that? Because that's the only time that I could possibly do it. And, you know, it's limited. Not everybody can do it. I know if I have this player and I have plus 10 dunk, somebody else makes it, they'll never be able to have it again. So I would want to play all 150 of those games. Right now, I have no reason to play Park. I'm like, I have all the badges that I want, and that's it. I'm a 92 overall, and I'm I probably won't play Park ever, unless like uh, one of my friends literally begs me to play. There's no reason for me to play Park. I play Pro Am just because, you know, I'm bored and I want to play here or there. But there's really no reason to play. Like, there's no real reason for you to play besides like you're literally bored out of your mind and you don't feel like playing Fortnite or in my uh, situation you're just absolutely complete utterly bad and your friends don't want to play with you in Fortnite that's the only reason why I don't play it because y'all I'm embarrassing y'all in the game like I, I don't get any kills y'all don't want to play with me it's simple but there's no incentives to play the game and that's really 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 important now this video is already 14 minutes and I am not one to make really long videos so I guess I'm gonna have to split this into parts because I have lines and lines and lines and lines of stuff that I really really want to talk about so in this one I already talked to you guys about the incentives that I want them to add um, how I think they could take pages out of Fortnite's books and I really wanted to get into gameplay but I don't want this video to get much longer because you guys do not have a high attention span and I'm not trying to just be talking to myself so um, the next part of this video will be out 
maybe tomorrow maybe the next day depends on how many likes I get on this video if you guys like these type of videos I'll keep doing them if you guys don't like these type of videos then I'm not gonna keep talking for uh, 14 minutes I'm not about to do that if y'all y'all wanna y'all wanna waste somebody's time you can waste your dog's time your parents time can't be wasting my time I can't I can't be doing that I can't be talking for that long and nobody's listening so anyways um, let me know if you guys want another part to uh, the videos I, I want to get into a lot of stuff with live because I'm gonna be real with you I really 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 want live to do something serious this year like I really want to see that because that's the only way that we're gonna get good basketball games again but I'll explain all that I don't want to make this video too much longer but uh, yeah if you guys want to see more make sure you like the video I'm looking for 1,000 likes that's what I'm aiming for 1,000 likes and I'll get the next one out to you guys. The fastest you guys give me a thousand likes is the fastest that I'll get the next one out to you guys. Now, I know you guys can do it. You guys do that a lot. But anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.